Well, hey guys, hey, good morning. Well, I'm on the battle box today. You know, this is Old Faithful. I truly do love this battle box because it's, uh, man, it's, it's a tank. And you're talking about not worrying about something, cooking meat. This battle box, man, is, is, is awesome. Okay. I don't have to worry about this thing. So most, well, actually, most of my cabinet smokers that I smoke on. Uh, but if I am smoking my cabinet smokers, it's going to be, if I'm not doing a lot of meat, you know, it'll be on the battle box uh, or the long weekender. But if I'm doing massive or anything over six briskets, it's going in the vote. Okay. But I've been running. I already opened it up already. Uh, it's been set for about two, 235 on my, my DigiQ right there. And I've been using my meter pros, my meter block for the monitor my cook. So I've been running about 235. I can't, probably can't see it yet. 235. And it's only been six hours, six and a half hours. So I put these on at 10. It's like four o'clock now. So let's check this out. You know. Oh, that's that looks good too. Now I can put you know for I think the most bristles I put on here was six. And I got I have a video on that. It's on um, one of my YouTube pages. But you can smoke six briskets on here. I put the four pans in here, four brisket, or four pans, and then I take two other briskets and I half them up, and I put them in. I take the other half of briskets and put it on the side. Okay. But if you want to keep it, you know, uh, like the maximum, you can do four. But sometimes I like to go no higher than three briskets. But since I got more pits, you know, I'm just doing a small cook today. But check this out. This is. Hey Leroy, hey Scott. This is a, uh, I think a 17 pounder. All right, so I cook everything in pans. I like my briskets like pot roast, and uh, that's the way I did, uh, that's the way I serve my briskets. It's called pot roast briskets because you know, I love all the juice. You know, once I get to this color, 165, 170, all I do is take a piece of aluminum foil, put it on top, and then I might add a half a cup of water. Oh man, hold on a second. Let me get some coffee because it's early in the morning. Oh man, I love strong dark coffee, but there's a little end bits on the side. Nice color, nice bark. But the key to this, you see how you see that red juice? That's the key, guys. Because once you slice it up, put it back in the juice. You now some people say, man, look at the bottom. What about the bottom? What about the bottom? What's gonna happen when you when you slice it up? You're gonna chop it up or slice it up anyway and put it on some bread. The only thing is just make it taste good, guys. But that juice is a secret. I don't have my water right now, but I usually add about uh, a half a cup of half a cup or a cup of water. So if you see my other videos, you know how they look. Okay, it's the juiciness and the tenderness because the juice. Hold on a second. I'm trying to just pump this up. I'm just going to spray the top. I'm just going to spray the top. All right, that's good enough. Now he's been on since since nine thirty, ten o'clock, and I don't, I didn't, I don't open my pit up. Once I get up, that's when I open. So all the way through, no spritz, no nothing. Leave it alone. We're gonna go and check it. We're gonna check the the uh, charcoal basket. See how much fuel I got because this pit. I love my pit boss, okay. Uh, my rotisserie smoker, outstanding. It's almost like an offset, but better. But it can use a lot of fuel, you know. This right, I might use maybe 17 pounds of my pit boss. This here, man, I'm probably using, you know, 10 to 12 pounds, maybe less than 12 pounds. But I may fill it up with, you know, 10 to 12 pounds. But it won't go through all that fuel. So let's check it out. Very efficient pit, like the battle box. No, hold on. Let me get me a glove. I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing. Let me get me a rag too. Okay. So that's six hours. You know, when I get up in the morning to wrap, I'm gonna burn that section over here, and this is always gonna be left over. That's six hours over there. 
maybe maybe five i can push them a whole cook with this and still add more okay there we go i don't know what happened um i can push to my cook turn my light back on i had a i had a wire uh, internet connection problem but that right there this is very efficient i can get up to about 10 hours close it up and uh, leave it alone and it will still burn for a very very long time guys i can get 12 hours or another six hours off of this guarantee you so if i want to throw in another brisket i just add some more wood put it on top uh, either put it right on top or put it on the back it'll burn it okay okay so let's look at this thing you know my go-to is 235 when I'm, if I'm doing a night cook okay that's where I set it at 235 and I set it for um, this has three modes mode one two and three and I set it for mode one for small insulated pits like the battle box or the low wink it low weekender uh, if I set it for mode two it's for you know big insulated pits like my pit maker boat I think I, what's that? I put it about 900 over 900 pounds, and mode three is for uninsulated pits like my pit make not my pit maker like my pit boss. So I can put this on the on the pit boss too, but the pit boss don't need it. You know, the battle box don't need it either. But I just like to have it on there. So I do have it set for um, on the second because it has three wide open it's gonna blow you know full blast but i'm gonna put it on two right there for low and slow right so it just kicked in man that's a cook i cook everything in pans take it all the way to color i'll take it all the way to 165 whichever comes first but i'll get ready to wrap these up and take these all the way to about 198 these are sitting at uh, actually I overslept guys I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you <laughs> these are actually at 170 and the top one's at 170 because it's gonna cook a little higher and that's why I set it for you know 235 oh I usually have my pit probe right here on the second shelf so I can maintain 235 okay if I had that pit probe down here for 235 on the second shelf, that means this is going to run about 255. But I keep it here. All right. So I have like a five degree, maybe 10 degree difference between the top shelf and the bottom shelf. This being 235. The second shelf would be about 225, 220. Okay. And I always run a dry pit because when I cook in pans, all the moisture is going to. Uh, Give you the moisture you need in your pit. So I hope that makes sense. And it's easy to take out. To wrap less and less mess. Alright guys. Hey God bless. And uh, I'll bring you guys back on my next smoke. Okay.